for this month's e magazine I'm here at Orchard Lakes on the Match Lake down in Hampshire. It really is a fantastic fishery and a very good match fishery and it offers us something different that we haven't really covered in the e magazine and that's fishing snake lakes. There's a massive head of carp in this lake with a little bit of a twist of barbel, tench, crucian, some roach and even an odd skimmer and like I say first impressions are very good. It's not just not a, a very nice place as far as the pegs and the grass and the parking's concerned, but it's also obviously crammed full of fish. I've not started yet and already there's a lot of signs of carp swimming around in the scum and odd ones out further. I've done a little bit of homework, found out what the match weights have been coming out on. Shallow with pellets is very good fishing towards the far bank. Also in close, they do catch shallow on pellets. The match weights are well in excess of 150 pound to win and to frame. So we're hopefully looking at catching a few fish today. As you can probably see, it's about the hottest spell of the year. It's gonna hit 30 degrees or just above today. So like we always say in the e-magazine, you've got to do your homework. You've got to try and find out who's catching, what they're catching and where they're catching. But also trust your own instincts a little bit, which is something I'm gonna to do today. I've been told that this is a good area, not only for carp, but there's also some barbel. Might be a little bit hot to fish on the bottom for barbel today, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm also going to look to fish pellets shallow at 14 and a half metres, not too close to the far bank, slightly away. I've got a nice bush slightly to the left, some lily pads to the right. It really is a feature packed venue and it's really the, these, these, like the lily pads and the bush, I don't want to get too close to because I know the carp are going to be quite lively in these hot temperatures. I'm feeding top five to my left. I'm going to loose feed a few casters and an odd bit of meat. I've got a bottom rig for that. It's about two and a quarter foot deep, absolutely perfect, next to some rushes that are situated on my left hand side. I've also plumbed up a rig, which I'm going to target just barbel on in three foot of water with just luncheon meat. There's a lot of fish about. I think with the temperatures, fishing on the bottom in the deeper water is really going to be a waste of time. You've got to trust your own instincts and go with that. And with the hot temperatures, I'm sure that we're going to be fishing shallow or in the edge. A little bit of a twist. I fish a lot of venues like Coleman's Cottage, various places like that where loose feeding casters can work. And one thing that is absolutely devastating is fishing off the bottom but in the margins with casters. You seem to catch everything from the carp to like I say hopefully some barbel, some crucian, some tench and bits and pieces. But what it enables you to do is to fish in the margins and not foul hook fish in these hot temperatures. If you're going to be feeding regularly you're going to end up with a lot of fish in your pegs, some swells and what you don't want to be doing is fishing on the bottom and foul hooking fish. So something that I do and a lot of the Dorking team do is fish with casters in the margins but fishing half depth or just off bottom. Hopefully we get a few fish in our peg and I'll be able to demonstrate that in more extent later on in the session. I've put up two rigs for fishing shallow, the new Drennan Crystal Dibbers point twos, 018, 016, reasonable size hooks. I'm going to be loose feeding six mil pellets, it's fishery pellets here as, as are a lot of commercials nowadays. Six mil pellets on that line, I'm going to be loose feeding a few casters and some meat down the edge and then if I'm not catching the barbel, which I know that there's a good head in here, I'm going to start introducing a little bit of meat onto that three foot line and just see if we can catch a few there. Well here we are, we've um, been fishing for a while now, we've caught plenty of fish, lots of crucians, only had one barbel, we've had a few carp, I had a little spell fishing long and shallow, but as with a lot of these commercial venues, these snake lake type um, venues, where there's a lot of fish, a very good line is normally really close in, really close to you on the top three. I've fished a lot of venues over the years like this from Wylands Farm, to Partridge Lakes in Yorkshire and what you find is there's an awful lot of fish in the lakes and by fishing really really close to you you cut down on the amount of fish you get in your swim because there's a lot of activity see there another fish crucian because there's a lot of activity with netting the fish with your nets and everything you don't get hundreds and hundreds of fish in your peg 
I'm sure if I fish further along the bank, I'd probably get a lot more fish in my peg. But obviously have a lot more trouble as far as foul hooking them are concerned. I'm still going to look at fishing shallow because the two slightly bigger carp I have had have been on the long pole fishing shallow. And also I will still look at look at feeding later on in the day a little bit further across, a little bit further down my peg in the margins, especially if this line does stop being so productive. But I've been feeding this line with an odd pot full of bait really trying to target the barbel which I've been told has a very big head of here and they are nice fish to catch and they are very good weight builders and I do know that this is the sort of line on these places where you're going to catch the barbel I'm introducing some casters, some maggots, a little bit of hemp and some meat I'm really looking to to bottle those barbel up Barbel, like I say, is something that we've not really covered a lot in the e-magazine and they're getting more and more popular on commercial fisheries. But what you do find is they're quite a shoalfish, even in the hottest of weathers. You know, when you find them, you'll quite often catch quite a few more than just one or two. It's still fizzing where I've fed out there. I'm not going to keep piling bait in everywhere because on these smaller snake lake type commercials, you don't need to pile the bait in to keep the fish in your peg. There's always a lot of fish around and it's a case of just starting a line as and when, if anything, keeping a line fed, keeping a line topped up can almost do more harm than good.